This is uh, <clears throat> you. Unless you are uh, Oriental Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox, Roman Catholic. <clears throat> This is for you, especially if you are atheist, um, secular Jewish, Sunni Muslim, uh, any religion that, uh, anyone who despises Christian, I do recognize that there are Buddhists out there. <clears throat> and animists and Hindus that live and let live, that just want to go along and get along and don't want to bash Christianity and don't give it a second thought. That's fine. But for the atheists, um, the anti-theists, I really mean, not necessarily the agnostics. <clears throat> uh, the communist, the social justice warrior, the things that naturally grow out of atheism, as well as um, this new spike in uh, uh, virulent, violent Sunnism, as well as uh, Secular Judaism, Hasids, not so much again, not so much towards the Orthodox Jew. So, here are some things. No, the books of the Bible were not decided at Nicaea. Neither was the Trinity, neither was the deity of Christ. The Bible, not infallible. Gnostic and heretical Gospels were not burned by the Church. Sorry to burst your bubble there. Um, coming up to us and telling us that Jesus didn't write the Bible, um, that only displays your ignorance, not any, not ours. Of course he didn't. When you claim that Christianity caused the Dark Ages, you have no clue what you're talking about. No, in fact, the church was the only light during the Dark Ages, or the Migration Period, as it's known to be called now. So, no. Um, and it preserved a hell of a lot of works besides um, religious ones. Oh, I love this assertion that you make. Galileo was in prison for claiming the earth went around the sun. No. Absolutely not. No. Wrong. The Copernican idea? No. I should, I need to do a separate video on that because it actually really has to do with gravity more than anything. The church, <clears throat> meaning, you know, the pre-Reformation medieval Catholic church, outlawed prostitution and gambling. No, it didn't. Thomas Aquinas argued that those two things must be legal because you can't, uh, you, you can't outlaw everything that is sinful. The Spanish Inquisition killed almost 10,000 people in 
350 year period. No. More like two to 3,000 over a 350 year period. During that same time in Northern Europe, um, in less than a 10 year span, 150,000 men and women were burned at the stake for being witches. And that's just the ones that were burned, not crushed to death or hanged. So, Spanish Inquisition was a lie created by the Protestant country known as England. The Crusades were unprovoked imperialism. No. No, bullshit. 400 years of r relentless, ceaseless, um, imperialistic conquest by the Umayyads, the, Fat the Umayyads, the Abbasids, the Fatimids, and the Turks. And it wasn't until the Christians of Jerusalem were slaughtered and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre was totally destroyed and burned to the ground that they said enough is enough. It actually was a defensive action. For the first 1800 years, the Pope was infallible. No. Incorrect. The fallibility of the Pope only came about in 1870. So about a hundred years ago. Not quite as old as the American Civil War. So yeah. sick and tired of these stupid things if I am incorrect on a single one of these please tell me which one which one peace to you may God save Serbia Syria and Ireland Everything I said was 100% true. And I challenge you, atrevete. Especially atheists, Muslims, because many Muslims try to make claims about Nicaea or the compilation of the Bible or Constantine or something. <clears throat> uh, go ahead try to um, show me where I'm wrong try to make a fool out of me everything I said is 100% correct and nobody can prove otherwise peace to you